Hello, my name is Brendan Wallace and um, I run a company called BC Technologies but also I uh, was the founder of a project in Danoon called the Danoon Project. Uh, I came up with this idea a couple of years ago and then built a team of some uh, local people in and around Danoon to um, try and make this happen. Um, now the what is the Danoon project? You know, the Danoon project is um, yes, it's going to be a gondola that goes from sort of West Bay area, we hope, up to the top of the uh, the hill back at, behind Danoon, and then we're looking at world class zip lines um, that can you know travel down at 100 miles an hour. Um, really thrilling, exciting zip lines and uh, world class sort of mountain bike park um, for you know competitions and um, basically allowing uh, people to you know, get the gondola up and uh, you know, cycle down some thrilling and exciting uh, mountain bike tracks. At the top of the hill we'll also look to have a visitor centre and a um, cafe. Um, so it'll basically give anybody any age a reason to go up to the top um you know even if it's just um you know an, an elderly person that wants to go up on the gondola have a cup of coffee and uh, cake and look at the views and then come back down on the gondola um it's basically going to be fun for all for every single age um so you know a very exciting project but it's not all about the excitement and the project. I mean, the whole driving force around the Danoon project is job creation. It's very, very important that in a town like Danoon that we um, can create jobs, we can create business um, to allow you know, the youngsters like you to have an opportunity to stay and work in Danoon, um, bring up families, and um, you know, thrive within a you know an exciting um, an exciting town. Now we've got some absolutely stunning views, we've got some stunning scenery and we've got, we're very, very lucky and fortunate that you know, we've got the Corlaric Forest behind Danoon. So to, to make this project happen, you know, it's going to cost an awful lot of money. So how are we going to do that as a community? So the, the whole idea around this project is a community driven project. It's not a private project, it's a community driven project. So the community gets control, they get to say what happens up there, they um, get to say what sort of activities um, and they, they basically will remain in control of this project right through. Um, so with being a community we have something called the right to buy and that right to buy is uh, what we're looking at doing is buying the forest behind Danoon. Now that forest goes from Danoon literally all the way to Toward, um, huge massive forest and in itself that, uh, that forest is um, quite valuable. Um, for us to go out and buy it um, you know we're looking at probably between 12 and 14 million pounds um, an awful lot of money and of course to try and generate that type of money in the community is just impossible we we can't do that so how do we get the money to buy the forest now we can do something called um, a cats transfer a community asset transfer and that's where we request as a community to go out and um, purchase the uh, the forest through the forestry land Scotland now we have to put together a project plan and we also have to buy it so to enable us to get that money um, we've come up with some ideas and those ideas are basically around the trees you know it's a working forest so at the moment the trees are cut and felled and um, they then sent off to various places to make wood paper etc so in effectively what we'll be doing is we're looking at then setting a lease for 99 years selling that lease to a forestry company so they basically will then earn the rights to fell those trees and sell the wood to and to sell the trees to basically make wood and paper. In addition to that, we'll then get the money to buy the forest from the uh, from the lease. So effectively, it's um, there's no risk to um, to the community in doing this. We don't have to put our hands in the pocket in our pockets and pay any money for it because we'll get that money from the uh, forestry company that we sell the lease to. Um, the other thing that's very very important around this is is the the, the lease the the lease the legal lease contract because what we have to do we have to ensure that the community remain in control. So 
we want to put a gondola up there, we want to put a zip line up there, possibly an alpine coaster, you know, large mountain bike park, um, visitor center, cafe, we want to do all that. So we need to make sure that um, we're allowed to do that within the lease and we're allowed to extend and do extra bits and pieces within the um, within that lease as well. So, um, you know, we might start off with all this and then decide in the next uh, five years, right, it's going really, really well. We want to extend the gondola down from, um, um, from Danoon down to Toward and then back and, you know, it's it's just options so basically what we want and to what we have to ensure is that the community has the ability to be able to do that so that's what we've been putting together and this is all the work that we've been doing in creating all these sort of legal lease documents etc as well as um, working to try and um, um, put all the application together for us to buy the forest so at the the, the, the concept, the, the other concept around this that we've got to take into consideration is the environment. Um, it's very, very important that uh, this is an environmentally friend, friendly project. Um, so there's lots of opportunities that we can do to help deliver um, those environmentally friendly um, projects. You know, we've got um, an awful lot of water. We've got uh, you know the, the the hills and the water that comes down the hills, so we can create hydros. Those hydros can then power electricity to enable us to you know, get electricity for the gondola, the visitor centre, the cafe, and to um, to be able to you know, to, to to run these um, these activities without um, you know as having to you know, pay a lot of electricity. It basically, make it very very environmentally friendly. Lots of other exciting opportunities as well with um, the environment. You know, we can plant insidious trees. We can plant sort of particular species to try and attract different wildlife back in as well. So there's lots of you know lots of opportunities and lots of fun and exciting um, ways that we can uh, you know, help deliver and um, you know make this a fun community project for all, but also a very successful project for all. You know, that's the most important aspect of this. Um, you now we have to um, create jobs. We have to create, um, you know, the opportunity for jobs in in Danoon, and th this will, you know, this is an excellent way of doing it. Um, we've um, we've managed to um, raise around about 100 million pounds of uh, private investment for this, um, because obviously, you know, the, to build a gondola, to build a zip line is very very expensive. So we're starting to put all that together as well, and we've um, created, um, you know, a lot of. Uh, a lot of money to to uh, uh, to be able to uh, build these projects. Um, so we're um, we hope to be in a position in the next um, few months to be able to put in the application and acquire the forest, um, and then we can look at you know all the other exciting elements and the planning etc. to uh, you know to make these things happen. Um, so. That was me just wanting to bring you up to speed on uh, the Dunoon project and um, and what it's all about. And uh, as soon as I can, I'll be you know, delighted to pop along to your school and have a chat with you all to say, you know, what, what's going on, what we're about, etc. Um, and, um, and get you involved. You know, we really want to get the youngsters and the kids and, and you involved. Um, it's very, very important because this, this project is for you. You know, it's for um, you know, the youngsters that want to um, stay here, get jobs, have opportunities you know, within Danoon. And there'll be stacks of jobs. There'll be stacks of different varieties of jobs. You know, We're not just talking about someone working in a shop and selling tickets. You know, We're talking about um, legal jobs, accounting jobs, designing jobs, architecture jobs, uh, forestry jobs, agricultural jobs, um, planning, um, you know, the... Um, chefs there's um you know cafes there's there's all sorts of different varieties of jobs that will come out of this so it's um you know it's a it, it really is a uh, a game changer for Danoon and something you know, they're extremely excited about so uh, anyway thanks for listening and um i hope to come and visit you soon and um yeah, give you some more information about the Danoon project